1997, Walmart opened its first store in Germany. They had officially entered the largest retail market in Europe. But nine years later, they sold their stores, packed their bags, and left the country. They had lost $1 billion. So how did the largest private employer in the world fail so badly? By 1988, Walmart had become the most profitable retailer in the U.S. Their success spurred the company to start looking abroad, at the international market. And the expansion has been largely successful. Walmart now has almost 12,000 stores in 27 countries. In Britain, they now own the second largest supermarket chain in the country, Asda. They're the largest private employer in Mexico and the third largest in Canada. But that success is not universal. In 1997, Walmart purchased two German retail chains, Wertkauf and Interspar, totaling 95 stores. It was a huge risk. Germany in the late 90s was a hostile market. Restrictive shopping hours, regulated zoning, and high unemployment kept other companies away, according to analysts at Kurt Salman Associates Europe. Retail market growth rates averaged just 0.3% per year in the 90s. It was also entering a market full of successful native discount retailers, like Aldi and Lidl, which were stiff competition. By German law, these smaller stores could offer lower prices than big box stores like Walmart. Soon after arriving in Germany, Walmart faced accusations that it was using short-term predatory pricing to try and put local shopkeepers out of business. Regulators had to order Walmart to raise the price of basics, like milk, flour, and butter. After that, their prices were too high in comparison to the competition, like Aldi, which ran small, bare-bones stores. The discount retail sector was a lot larger in Germany than in other countries. It was about 40% of the supermarket business, which meant that groceries and daily goods tended to cost around 15% less than the European average. On top of these financial obstacles, Walmart faced a different kind of problem, a cultural problem. The friendly Walmart practices, based on Southern hospitality, were perceived by many to be fake and at odds with German culture. German media reported that Walmart required its employees to start their shifts by engaging in synchronized calisthenics and group chants of Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. This was intended to build loyalty and morale. Walmart also required its cashiers to flash smiles at patrons, which a lot of customers thought was flirty and creepy. That's also how they felt about Walmart greeters. Pretty creepy. People found these things strange. Germans just don't behave that way. Hans Martin Poschmann, the secretary of the Verdi Union, which represented 5,000 Walmart employees, told the New York Times. Walmart also imposed restrictive measures on their employees, which they called an ethics code. Walmart required its employees to report if coworkers broke any rules, and if they didn't comply, they could be fired. Walmart also prohibited sexual intimacy and flirting between coworkers, according to the Financial Times Deutschland. A German court eventually struck down this ethics code in 2005. By German standards, Walmart is also anti-union. They didn't understand that in Germany, Companies and unions are closely connected. They thought we were communists, Poshman told the Times. It sounds like employees, associates, they're listened to. And without going through union politicians. Of course not. All unions work at is taking a cut out of my pay. Unions strongly opposed the working culture in Walmart. Walmart and German unions never established comfortable relations. All of these obstacles combined led to declining sales. Walmart's German stores had a profit margin of 1% compared to their British stores, which had a margin of 6 to 8%. Germany's top 10 chains made up 30% of the market, but Walmart made up just 
3% of the market. Full-time staff in Germany demanded a 19% premium compared to UK workers on average, which drove up Walmart's operational costs as their sales declined. So Walmart withdrew from the country in 2006, offloading 85 of its stores to its local rival, Metro. They had employed 11,000 people and generated $2 billion in 2005. But that represented just 4% of Walmart's international operations. It has become increasingly clear that in Germany's business environment, it would be difficult for us to obtain the scale and results we desire, Michael Duke, vice chairman of Walmart stores, told The Times. Walmart's dedication to their company culture ended up dooming them in Germany. The lesson? The locals are always right. Let us know in the comments what companies or company failures you want us to look at next. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for post notifications. Danke!